in your survival world, farms are the way you can make huge amounts of resources available to you really, really quickly. And today, one of those resources is going to be given to you very, very simply. We are going to produce a cactus farm that could not be more easy. It is no redstone whatsoever, and you will be able to produce more green dye and more cactus parts than you could ever need. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Depending on what time you're watching this next episode of my farming tutorial series, you can see several of the farm tutorials in the background. And hopefully, we've got the playlist sat somewhere on the screen if I've done the link right. And if not, it's definitely, definitely, definitely in the description below. So make sure you do see that. Today, we're going to do a farm that people don't necessarily think of all the time. We're going to farm some cactuses. Now, cactuses are really actually very, very useful for a number of reasons. First reason is you can make dye out of them. You can actually make cactus green dye and as a result of having cactus green dye mixing it with other stuff you can have different coloured dyes like lime dye and cyan dye and you can make different coloured sheep or different dog collars or you can dye your armour and your wool and your terracotta as it's now called and well that's obviously it's stained clay. Everybody knows it's stained clay. Only 1.12 called it terracotta. What's that all about? You can make different colour beds. Now we're in 1.12. You can make fireworks, stars, when you combine it with gunpowder. And also, you can make green concrete powder now with Minecraft 1.12 when you combine it with sand and gravel. So it's really quite useful for making coloured stuff. But it's also quite handy for making things like slime farms and creating... Uh, areas where you can create damage to mobs because a cactus will give uh, one heart, I think it's one heart or half a heart of damage to any mob with every like 0.5 a second that it comes into contact with it. So it's a really, really good way of being able to kill mobs as well. So lots and lots of different uses for it. If you like this video, please do make sure you hit that like button very, 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 very hard. So as it turns blue, because it really helps out the channel, I'll be very, very grateful. And then I'll know that you enjoy the video, which would be really useful to know. And also, if you've not done it already, make sure you hit my sub club button. That's that red button that's got subscribe written all over it. Make sure you slap that one as well. It'll be good to see you in my sub club. And also hit the notifications bell to be in the notification squad too. And let's get on with this tutorial. So the footprint for this particular build is 18 up the y-axis and 15 across the x-axis. That's 18 up and 15 across. And this is a platform, not a dig in. So you are one block high as well. So you can see there, one block high, 18 up and 15 across. And it doesn't matter what you build this out of because by the end of the build, it's not gonna be visible from the outside and the inside, it won't be particularly visible either. And so it's completely block of choice, up to you. Now let's get on with the next bit. So first up, we are gonna come right the way to the side of the build and we're gonna to come to the bottom. This is gonna be the front and it is gonna be one, two, and on the third block, we're gonna place a block there. And then we're gonna put a space and another block, space, block, space, block, space, block, space, block. Can you see a pattern? It's a space and then a block, and then it's a space and then it's a block. And then we're gonna extend all of these right the way to the back, right the way to the very, very, very back. And it is not, pretty at the minute. We're going to worry about whether or not it looks pretty in a little while. First off, let's get the function bit sorted and then we'll get the pretty bit sorted because I think that makes far, far more sense. So we've gone all the way around on those edges and on these outer edges and only these outer edges come out one more and then reach these fingers all the way back to the back of the build like this and again with all the others. So I'll be back when I've done that. So we've got all of these fingers now, and in between these fingers from the back, you can see we're at the back because this is where we went all the way across with the wall. We're gonna fill in one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now that should leave you with eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight to the front of these fingers. So again, we're gonna fill in all of them from exactly the same spot right the way to the back, and I'll be back when I've completed that. So we have blocked out the back and we've also raised the wall just up one, mostly to make it dead easy to see the fact that we've blocked out the back because now we're coming to the front. We're gonna come back to the walls in just a minute and we're gonna hollow out the entirety of this row in front of these fingers right there. So right from one side to the other and then we're gonna to come to the middle and you can see the middle is this row between the fingers there and we're gonna take out that block there. And we're gonna remove that and that and that so we've got like a channel in the front we're then going to get ourselves a chest and we're going to put a chest there and there 
we're going to come up around this side, we're going to land in here, and we are going to shift, place a hopper into the back of that chest. So that's going to be the collection system. We only need one hopper. And then here, we're going to put an upside down set of stairs that allows us to open that hopper up, uh, that chest up. It's really important to be able to access that area there. And that's quite nice. I'm very happy with that. Then across here, we're going to put two rows of glass like this. So one row all the way across. This is basically so as we can visualize what's going on inside. It is by no means critical. Cactuses do not need light to be able to grow, which is kind of handy if you want to be able to just, you know, stick them in a really dark place in a cave or under the ground, something like that. You don't need to light them up because there's also not really any spawn areas in this either, which is really awesome because they can't spawn on the cactuses and they can't spawn on the water that will eventually come in. So there's very little spawning area for mobs to jump in here. And if you look here, you can then see very clearly what is going on inside the building. So that's brilliant. And then we're going to get some sand. And we're going to come across all the fingers right from the front. And we're going to put a row of sand right to the back like that. So you can see we created the row. And the reason we're using sand is because sand is the only block, as far as I'm aware, if I'm wrong, please put in the, the comments below that I am indeed wrong. But sand is the only block that cactuses will grow on. So I'm going to be back when I finish that bit. So we finished off those rows of sand and we've also raised up the walls and you can see here these walls are now one, two, three, four, five, six blocks high and we've made four high glass because I reckon that is a really, really good viewing area. Let's in plenty of light as well and it makes things a lot easier to see. Now we're going to seed our cactuses. Now we're going to come across, is it cactuses or is it cacti? I think it could be both could be either in the comment section below is it cactuses or is it cacti i'm not entirely sure maybe ask your friend google and we're going to put a cactus one away from the back wall uh, and then a gap and then another one and then a gap then another one and we're going to do this gap and you should find you've got a gap one at the front as well exactly like that and then we are coming across and we're going to fill in the entirety of this system with these cactuses cacti cactopuses i don't know what do you want to call them i don't care these green spiky dye producing things that kill people at one half per half second if you rub up against them things so once we've got all of these in here we then need to start to create a system that is going to prune them because cactuses have got a really strange quality and that quality is if there is a air block above them but next to that air block that's above them in either the north south east or west position if there is a block then it clips off that um, top that second piece of the cactus so the second piece of the cactus will basically pop off and will fall next to the uh, the string next to this long row of sand now we want to make sure that these do not clip off and hit their fellow cacti because if they do that's going to cause us a whole world of problems so we need to create little separation boxes so come down and in the row above the top of the cactus you want to get yourself a glass pane and we are going to create a series of boxes around the cactuses but not over the cactuses so you can see here we're coming backwards no nope, not over the cactuses backwards I really got to learn how to steer, haven't I? That's just appalling. Come on, Eva, that's really, really bad. All the way across to the other side, like that. So you can see we've kind of got a separation between that air block there and that air block there by view of this glass. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that and create kind of a squared pattern right the way across, going this way, but also going between them this way as well because the last thing we want is for that to hit that so we just got to finish that off and I'll be back when I've done that so that now looks just like that we've got a nice squared pattern that is separating all of these cactuses from each other so as when they do grow that's going to prune off because that counts as a block in the north south east or west position of that cactus that's going to prune off the top of the cactus which is going to allow the cactus part to be taken down to the collection system which is where our wall buckets come in so what we've got to do is we need to put a bucket of water in each section here and that one bucket of water at the end will be enough to travel the water all the way 
down you can see it travels to the second section all the way to that end part there and then to take anything that flows along that water system in there we put one there and we get another one and put one there and that will transport everything to that hopper and that hopper will then push anything that it collects into the chest so that is essentially the collection system sorted and now all that leaves us to do is to kind of make it look a little bit prettier first things first let's get a layer of stone brick stairs upside down across here because that tops off that glassy area really quite nicely like that we can then get some more stone brick stair but the right way up I think we can do that there to create ourselves a little bit of texture at the front so that creates a nice textured format and then we just got to do whatever it is we fancy doing to make it look pretty so I'll be back in just a minute when I've done some fiddling around and there is pretty much the complete system. We've just topped it off with a relatively flat roof. We've put some decoration around those big old walls and I reckon you could probably do a little bit more decoration than that. But I figured that would be enough because it gives you a completely blank palette, blank canvas for you to work with. I have not completely filled in the top because I want just to watch this just for a couple of minutes you can see there just one, one just went pop. But we're gonna watch just as a few of these cactuses go pop. there we've had quite a few there go off in not much time and yeah occasionally you get a little block of cactus that sits on the sand next to its own cactus I'm not entirely sure how we can avoid that if you've got a way that you know you can avoid that please put it down in the comments because I'm really really interested to understand what that could be so all that leaves us to do now is to get what I prefer which is a glass roof to cover up the entirety of this roof here just to give it a little bit of visibility across the top it does bring some light in and I know I've put some glowstone in around the top there that is not to make it light to avoid it being um, a mob spawner type area that's not the case at all all I've done there is purely for aesthetic look so as it glows just a little bit you can imagine at night time it would glow a little bit in the dark and act a little bit like a beacon and you could put it on top of a hill or somewhere where you can make sure you can see your base from a long way off maybe because it's glowing really nicely it's completely up to you how you decorate this and actually you don't have to decorate it at all you could just make it look very boring or block it off uh, so it's completely dark and is entirely functional and only functional the other really 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 good thing about this particular cactus farm is if you find for whatever reason you have that you want to have loads and loads and loads of cactus well you can stack it you could stack this if you wanted all the way to the height limit of the world to increase your production. You do not need a single more hopper, not one. All you need is to repeat the system on top of itself so when the cactuses fall, they fall down a gap rather than directly into a load of water like it is at the front. Let's just get that down, so down to the front. So literally repeat from this stone upwards including the glass across the top and that will give you a really really simple way to duplicate this on top of another so go three rows four rows five rows six rows however many times you would like to repeat this you can do it really really simply it's a perfect farm and that is one completed cactus farm it's actually really really simple zero redstone not a single piece of redstone goes into making this farm because the way the cactuses work and the way the cactuses grow and the way the cactuses can be pruned off so as they continue to produce more and more cactuses it's actually really really simple and it could not be easier to build a massive farm and you can make it even bigger than this if you wanted to it'd be an absolute doddle let's take a look and see how many bits we've actually managed to collect in what's really only a few minutes so we've got there 27 pieces of cactus in I would say less than 10 minutes so it's not going to give you huge huge yields on a single layer what this is for is to give you a little bit of cactus and it is continual for as long as you are close enough for these cactuses to be within kind of the the surround of the the computer loading it up you will find that these are going to produce you cactuses over and over and over it's absolutely brilliant so if you have enjoyed this tutorial please do not forget to hit that like
button. I really, really do want to know whether or not you think it is worth me continuing to produce these tutorials of different types of farms. I really enjoy making them, but do you enjoy watching them? That's what I want to know. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would love to see your name in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.